Hi guys, this is Rakesh Salreja and I welcome you to the India's leading institute for preparation of gate engineering services and all technical examinations for electronics and electrical engineers. Yes, that is the Ohm Institute. Uh, so guys, you know, uh, throughout my journey, throughout my you know teaching experience, I've, I've felt that there are a lot of students dedicatedly preparing for the gate examination. Okay, but actually, you know, they're not really clear about the pattern. Okay, that means you're just preparing maybe because others are preparing, but you're not even clear about your vision. Okay, how much you have to target because unless and until you know what the pattern is, you cannot make the strategy. So you don't have strategy, you're just working hard. Okay, and any competitive examination is a combination of hard work at the same time smart work. So you need to incorporate those strategies. And you know, you cannot incorporate any strategy if you're not clear. So I, I personally felt that you know a lot of students just preparing but still not clear what are the different variety of questions okay what about the negative marking scheme which question may have negative may not have negative so that's why i thought of making this video for you where i'll just talk about the gate exam pattern so anyways we keep conducting other technical and other you know guidance based session but this is purely on the exam pattern of gate and one similar video we can plan for engineering services as well so let's get started guys quickly okay about the gate exam pattern so that you know you get complete information about the gate exam pattern in this one single video okay let me first brief out some important features okay one by one uh, with respect to the gate examination that yes it's a computer based examination now online it's not now it's since 2014 around okay it's, it's conducted at select centers in different cities of a country okay the total duration of the examination is three hours Okay, and uh, the total mark, the total weightage is 100 marks. Okay, and out of that 100 marks, there will be a total 65 questions. 30 will be for one mark, 35 will be for two marks. That is how 100 marks is made. We'll, we'll have a more breakage of, you know, what is the weightage of technical and non-technical out of the 65 questions. There will be three variety of questions. I will explain you that also. MCQ multiple choice question, NAT numerical answer type question, and MSQ multiple select question. I'll give you an example and explain you all three. Okay, and this platform this gate examination comes with the inbuilt virtual calculator you cannot carry your own physical scientific calculators there will be an inbuilt virtual calculator okay so these are the silent features now let's talk about slightly more in detail especially with respect to the 65 questions and their breakage okay so the total weightage distribution as i told you it's 100 marks but how it is distributed it is classified i'll put it into three different parts Okay, number one is general aptitude, which is having a fixed weightage of 15 marks. This was introduced back in 2010. Okay, and whatever is the pattern that I'm talking about, 100 marks pattern, it is there since 2010 only. There isn't any change in the pattern as of since 2010. Okay, so general aptitude is there for 15 marks and this general aptitude, okay, it can really be a rank booster, score booster for you because, you know, slight practice into it, especially looking into the point that you are engineers, slight practice can give you a lot of benefit here. Okay, maybe some of you might feel that, uh, okay, you're not that great at you know basic maths because aptitude is mostly basic maths but still i'm telling you know see if you're already good you don't have to put a lot of effort here but even if you are weak small simple efforts can make you score good this will have four parts okay quantitative aptitude analytical aptitude spatial aptitude verbal ability okay verbal ability is you know like english but let me tell you recent years the weightage of verbal ability has been going down and down although it was all, almost around 5 marks average not more than that but if you look into recent trends it is just 3 to 4 marks like uh, you know gate 2024 it is asked only for 3 marks a 1 mark question and a 2 mark question 1 mark question commonly based on the vocab 2 mark question was based on passage and that was a very the all whether whatever branch i have seen logical question Okay, you don't need a lot of heavy grammar and vocab to crack those passages. Okay, if you have basic logic also to read, you'll be able to crack that. So verbal, I don't think it's not going to be a big trouble because it's two to three, three marks business in the upcoming years. Okay, quantitative aptitude and analytical aptitude. Okay, this is what majorly questions will come up. Quantitative aptitude, as you know, it's basic maths uh, up to the class 10. And then again, guys, what are the important topics in aptitude or other subjects? For that, we have separate videos. Okay, you will one by one talk about that. Okay, analytical aptitude is just like basic logical reasoning. Okay, simple brain puzzles, nothing more. Spatial aptitude is like non-verbal reasoning questions comprising of image as in you have to reason based on the images given. Okay, so one question probably you expect from spatial aptitude. Okay, one or two questions, two questions uh, verbal ability. Okay, so how many questions are there in the general aptitude? As I told you, it is 15 marks. Okay, so five questions of one mark and five questions of two mark five into one five into two total ten questions are there in the general aptitude okay out of them i'm telling you roughly three questions from these two and remaining the six to seven questions are uh, quant and analytical aptitude only 
Okay, moving ahead to the next part, engineering mathematics from 2021 onwards, the weightage has been fixed. The maths is there since long, but the weightage was not fixed. Sometimes it may be 10, 12 marks. Sometimes it can go to 15 also. Okay, but now from 2021, IIT Bombay fixed the weightage, 13 marks. Okay, now this engineering maths will comprise of six to seven different chapters like linear algebra, uh, probability, calculus, vector calculus, differential equations, complex variables, and etc. Okay, so you know for maths, so I've already on the Ohm Institute YouTube channel, I've already made a video complete information about maths. You can watch that. Okay, it's complete syllabus, important areas, and how to focus on maths. Okay, now this is a critical success factor for top rank. I'll tell you for two reasons. Number one is the weightage. Okay, weightage is high here also. Okay, but this is mostly something which I call it as scoring. Take the benefit of this. Okay, but here there are two important reasons I put it very important. Okay, critical success factor for top rank. Number one is of course weightage. Okay, if you study this, you know, with dedication, okay, uh, you know, you'll be easily able to get maximum. Okay, possibly up to 13 also. Okay, but at the same time, it's not only about, you know, the full marks, the 13 out of 13. It's it's all about, you know, it, it helps in the smooth completion of technical subject because whatever you study in maths, like, you know, you have fundamental calculus useful in every area of engineering. Vector calculus is useful in many of the subjects depending on your branch, maybe electrical, electronics, mechanical, everywhere you have, you know, vector calculus incorporated in the engineering. Okay, some of you, some of you might be leading uh, probability, like especially EC students, communication system, probability is required. Lean Linear algebra is required in some areas, okay? So guys, you know, whatever you study in maths is required in technical. So if you're good in maths in the beginning itself, okay, you'll be, you know, really good in understanding the technical things. Okay, that is why it is a very important subject to focus and that to beginning initially only. Okay, and you know, the efforts that you will put to score 13 marks is the efforts will be less as compared to what is there in the next technical. Okay, so if you talk about, you know, 15 and 13, this makes how much? This is 28 marks to so dedicated technical syllabus will be for 72 marks. Okay, this syllabus will be branch specific, okay, based on, you know, based on your branch like electronics or electrical or civil or mechanical or computer science. Around 8 to 10 subjects fall under this 72 marks. It is not only one subject. Okay, what are those subjects? Again, that depends on your branch. Okay, so roughly if I say 8 to 9 marks is the weightage for most of the subjects. Again, there are some subjects which are low weightage, like 3 to 4 marks. There are some subjects which are high weightage, like 12, 13 marks also. Okay, but most of the subjects are around 8 to 9 marks. So see, the, what I'm trying to tell you is the effort that you need to put, okay, to complete maths, okay, to get up to 13 marks, that effort is less than what is required to complete one technical subject completely, okay, that is having an average weightage of let's say 9 marks. So that is also one reason that you focus here, you have, you know, more marks gaining probability, okay, but at the same time, okay, to be a ranker, you have to be technically strong, okay, so rank, see, these two are mostly rank boosters, okay, but you know, if you only focus here, you can never, you know, be a ranker. Okay, so real, okay, rank will be decided by this. These two are rank booster. This is your base. Okay, and over and above that, how, how much, how much bread butter you need, you can extract from these two subjects. Okay. Now, moving ahead to the next important thing is how is the question distributions like aptitude I already told you 5 1 mark 5 2 mark. So let's talk about all the other. So this is what aptitude I already briefed you that uh, the you know weightage is uh, 5 1 mark question 5 2 mark question that is how 10 questions and 15 marks of aptitude. Okay, now respective engineering discipline including maths. Okay, there is no number of fixed question for maths. Okay, as I told you, the total marks is fixed. Okay, it's 13. Okay, so it could be maybe four questions of two marks or five questions of one marks, maybe nine questions, or it could be anything else. Five questions of two marks, three questions of one marks. So that number is not fixed. Okay, so the number of question with maths and technical, okay, combined. So that combines 85 marks, 15 aptitude separate. Okay, so uh, let us put it here, respective engineering discipline, including engineering maths, because engineering maths syllabus also they put it inside technical and it is slightly different, okay, for branches, but you know, for branches like EC, EE, mechanical, civil, it is 90% common. Computer science, it is slightly different, okay, but for EC, EE, mechanical, civil, it is 90% common syllabus. So you can mostly call it as common subject only. Slight variations are there based on your branch. Okay, so including maths and uh, technical, okay, how many questions are left? Out of 65, 10 questions gone, 55 are left. 55 questions may say 25 are 1 mark, 30 questions are of 2 marks. So 25 into 1 plus 30 into 2, that is how 85 marks will be made up here. Okay, now what are the negative marking? Okay, so as I told you, there are three variety of question. 
okay and there is negative marking only for mcq what is mcq multiple choice question i will give you an example of that okay we are multiple choices multiple means four choices are given out of which only one can be correct okay so if it is a one mark question one third is the negative mark if it is a two mark question two third two by three is the negative mark means one by a third of the total marks allocated as simple as that okay so the total questions becomes 31 mark 35 two marks 65 questions for 100 marks and the total duration is 180 minutes three hours Okay, there is no negative marking, okay, or partial marking for NAT or MSQ questions. Okay, there is no negative or partial marking for NAT or MSQ type of questions, right? Now, okay, as I told you, there are three varieties of questions. Let's talk about those three varieties as well. Okay, what are those three varieties? MS, MCQ, NAT, and MSQ question. Okay. MCQ as I just mentioned you okay multiple choice question four choices will be there four options are there but out of which only and only one can be correct have a look into this so I have taken an official gate question only okay so there are you know I see the intent here right now is not to solve question or to study anything just to focus on uh, you know the syllabus and the exam pattern okay uh, how the weightage distribution is there okay but yeah this is what you know uh, there is a question of gate coming up two vectors are belonging to null space and I have taken from math so that whatever your branches it looks like a common question which one of the following vector also belongs to the null space okay so you need to know the concept and solve and out of these four only one will be correct okay here the official correct answer is a if you know this knowledge of null space okay you have studied linear algebra you can solve it up and check whether your answer is coming out to be a but here only one can be correct not more than one will be correct okay the next category of question okay let me brief you is the NAT that is known as the numerical answer type question okay so like again i've taken a question common from maths okay like you know the probability of occurrence of two independent events a and b are given to you what is the probability of at least a or b okay uh, occurring okay at least a or b a union b very simple question but there are no options here okay you need to solve because the answer is going to be numeric value okay pa plus pb minus p of a intersection b and p of a intersection b can be determined because they're independent events so some numeric value will come that you have to enter here Okay, that you have to enter here. Answer was not there. Okay, so what is the answer? We can write down directly. Okay, this one is simple. Okay, just I need to give you the answer at least. So this is how much? Uh, point, point 0.5 plus point 0.8, 1.3 point minus a PA into PB because they are independent. We can multiply the probability point 0.4. So answer will turn out to be point 0.9. Okay, right. So now let's go to the next MSQ, multiple select question. As the name says, you can select multiple choices here. That means, of course, multiple choices can be correct here. So this is a question where one or more, I repeat, one or more can be correct it also means that in msq one option may also be correct now this is something okay suppose you get a question and there have been question in the gate okay that you know msq question they have mentioned it as msq question but only one option correct okay and even you know when the question came before gate i told to the students earlier also ki, you know msq they clearly see one or more correct okay so maybe one also correct that is also a possibility you know but sometimes you know if it is a msq question and only one correct so then you will automatically be in doubt whether it is actually one correct or there is something that you are doing the mistake okay so you know you have to be really careful about msq questions all choices so this is again you know some question uh, i think the matrix is missed but again guys the question the intent here is not to solve the question some matrix was given maybe that is missed here okay which of the following statement are true okay Okay. No, 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 no. Even I don't think the matrix is missing here. Okay, it's a generalized properties. The eigenvalues of A transpose are same as the eigenvalues of A. For any matrix, which of the following statement is or are true? Okay, whatever may be the matrix. Okay, but these are generalized results. Maybe the matrix is given or not given. That's not going to affect your answer. Okay, so you know you have to check. You know you need to know the properties of eigenvalue and eigenvector to answer this question. Okay, and I'll tell you the official answer. This is also a gate question, and three answers are correct. That is A, B, D. Okay, now how the marking scheme is here. Okay, so very simple in the MCQ, I clearly told you. Okay, okay, like in the M MCQ, I clearly told you if it is a two mark question, you choose A, you get two marks. If you choose any other BCD, you get minus two by three. And if you don't choose any option, zero. No attempt means zero. If it is NAT, okay, and suppose this is one mark. If you write down the answer, you get one mark. Okay, if you don't write down or if you do anything else, suppose you have written the answer as 0.7, okay. So will you lose mark? No, there is no negative marking here. Okay. Now, NAT questions, if it is, you know, like here it is simply 0.9. Sometimes in NAT questions, an answer may be 0.92 to something like that. 0.92 and students are confused. Okay. Ki what if they entered 0. Okay, 9 to normally they will specify number of decimal places to enter. Okay, but suppose you know you're in doubt what if I entered 0.92? Yeah, maybe I had some approximations and I got the answer as 0.89. That is also close to 0.9 
Okay, so don't worry guys, when the answer is approximate, they will always evaluate in a range. Suppose the answer is 0.922, let me take a scenario. So for that, most likely, you know how they can check. They can say that the answer is anywhere between 0.85 to 0.95. So be assured, if it is in a, coming up with some approximation, they will always give a range to evaluate, some comfortable range to evaluate. Okay, so you can be assured about that, you can be relaxed about that. Okay, so if you don't enter any answer within this range, Okay, you don't lose marks, there is no negative marking, but any answer within the range, you get the one mark or two mark if the question is a two mark question. Okay, now like suppose this is the MSQ question. Okay, and I told you the correct answer for this is ABD. Okay, so suppose, okay, suppose if it is a uh, two mark question. Okay, you get two marks only if you select all ABD correct. You get the two marks. But suppose somebody will say, sir, I selected only AB. I selected only AB. Okay. So, you know, two out of the three options I selected. So, will I get marks? Okay, so now you may be expecting two third of two mark, assuming it is a two mark question. So, you are expecting four by three? No. How much you get? Zero. You only get the correct marks when you enter all the options. Okay, A, B, D. Okay, otherwise you don't get any marks. Okay, but on the same hand, if somebody selected C, Okay, totally opposite. Somebody selected C. So will he get negative mark? Will he lose marks? No, there is no negative mark also. Okay, so MSQ may very clearly I mentioned that there is no negative or there is no partial marking. Okay, no negative also. And at the same time, there is no partial marking also. So that's what I told partial. If you choose two options correct out of three, will you lose marks? Will you get marks? No. Okay, no partial marking also, but no negative. Even if you select the totally incorrect answer. Okay, but if you select all three correct, then you get the perfect uh, two mark if it is a two mark question, one mark if it is a one mark question. Okay, so I hope all the three category of questions are, uh, you know, clear to you. Okay, now you might be uh, thinking, ki, you know, what is going to be, uh, you know, out of this hundred, the cutoff. So again, it, it varies year to year, but mostly in the range 25 to 30, it varies because of the level of paper. And of course, because of the number of aspirants, these are two factors important. And how much does AIR1 will, you know, score? So I want to give you an approximate idea because when you're planning, you should be clear about target to be topper, how, uh, you know, how much you have to go. Okay, so for comparison, I have presented both the data, gate 2023 at the same time, gate 2024. Okay, so that you have two years data. So gate 2024, 2024 okay the cutoff of EC was 25 for last year it was 29.9 that's roughly 30 electrical it is more or less same for the last two years 25.7 and 25 computer science this year paper was little better okay 27.6 last year it was relatively much easier to 32.5 civil 28.3 this year last year 26.6 last year a little bit more difficult paper for civil okay mechanical it is 28.6 28.4 almost on similar and paper was almost almost on similar line for both the years it was moderate paper only okay but when you talk about top mark okay now okay let me tell you this AIR 190 okay EC okay AIR 2 last year is somewhere around 80 81 marks I exactly forgot okay and why this is 90 because you know this this AIR 1 is by some faculty of course okay so this sometimes AIR 1 marks may not be the correct data for a student point of view like this year also EC AIR 1 84.67 okay this time it's not a faculty but you know this is a candidate who has already prepared appeared and topped in the gate some some good performance in the gate, gate in gate 2016 and given the gate two three times earlier so when such aspirants reappear for some reason maybe they need to go to mtech or what okay definitely the chance of going is you know going high going getting better marks is very high but on the same time gate 2024 ir2 raviteja one of my student okay he got 74.67 see the big difference that means even, you know, this year paper EC, this is a moderate paper, moderate to de decent paper. If you have touched around 75, 80, that means you're almost a topper. Maybe one rank to see anywhere up to rank 1 to 10 is almost equal. Okay, you know, just by luck, sometimes one or two questions going wrong can hamper your ranks. Okay, so, you know, even if you like touch 75, 80, you're in the topper zone. Same for electrical. Last year, electrical paper was very difficult. One of the most difficult in the history of electrical. 66 where the topper was closed. So, you know, it depends year to year as well. Okay, so you know computer science this year 90, last year it was easy paper 93.67. Okay, this year also it was moderate, not very easy paper, but somehow topper managed to score up to 90. Okay, so if the topper is 90, doesn't mean your target should be okay, okay you know, 93, 90 is what stopper, your target also can be 90, but at least your topper you can make if you're computer science, you can make a target of 80 plus, so you get a good zone. Okay, what is the data that is coming for electrical that okay, 77 this year, last year 66, so if I somehow plan 70 plus, I'll be in a very good zone, but again, you plan 70 plus and maybe the paper comes very easy, automatically your target auto in the exam day will increase to 80, 85 plus and 90 plus, so don't worry about that, okay, but normally 
normally this is what is some expectation that will be set in the mind okay uh, so civil this year 87.33 last year 83.11 last year although it was slightly difficult but you know air 1 2 usually they managed to get more marks okay uh, then mechanical uh, 84.67 this year last year the top order is 90.67 last year there was no data science for the first time in gate 24 data science paper was introduced da data science and artificial intelligence the cutoff was 37.1 not because the paper was easy okay you know paper actually was for the first time so it was you know a lot of uh, you know enthusiasm uh, you know uh, you know hidden facts also ki how the paper will be how much will be the weightage so everything new but still the weightage went high because lesser number of aspirants next year the number of aspirants for DA I'm expecting it to be many more okay but you know the, because of less aspirants cutoff will always be high when a branch where the aspirants are less okay air one touched 90 marks here as well okay now uh, uh, you know there are two important tools okay although I'm not going to talk in detail about virtual calculator in this session because this session was about gate exam pattern and I have spoken about that but I told you in the beginning you should be aware that now you cannot carry okay your physical scientific calculators either you have this model okay that is the MS model or the other one ES model the white one is there okay uh, so you know you can't carry them okay so you need to know key what are the features you are you you were using in this okay and what are the features available in the gate virtual calculator okay to get this gate virtual calculator see I'll definitely make one video on gate virtual calculator and I'll bring it in this home channel also so that you know this is a very important tool because if you don't practice onto it and if you directly go to exam a lot of time will be wasted you know understanding its feature and every second is important in the 180 minutes there you can't you know you know just be you know going just like that okay it, you have to value each and every second each and every minute there okay especially you know the functions that you, you can automatically see but what is this memory features to use it brilliantly you should be aware about these memory features especially memory clear memory read memory save memory plus memory minus okay so you know we will have a dedicated video on this for those who are not aware especially knowing what is the difference from the regular calculator and how you can incorporate into daily life but at the same time if you are enthusiastic and if you really want I suggest to practice from the day one only on virtual calculator initially it takes time but let it take time right now okay but it should not waste any of the time in the gate exam okay that is what is important okay so how to get it okay you can get it in the laptop or desktop as well just go to the google and type gate virtual calculator you will get the first link by tcs tcs ion because tcs is the official body conducting the gate examination and that is the official body who has designed the virtual calculator so you get the authentic exactly this calculator which is designed by tcs so you can practice uh, through laptop desktop if you are an android mobile phone user you can you know download it Okay, there is an app available in the Google Play Store. You can directly download it, uh, you know, and save it. Save the mobile, save the application in your mobile. And whenever you're practicing within the class, yeah, even when you're doing some extra questions, okay, solve using the app. Or if you're in the laptop, directly that website that I'm telling, TCS, you can search. Okay, and number three, test series. So when you are you know, into any of the test series, okay, so automatically there, okay, in uh, any of the good test series, you will be getting the gate virtual calculator incorporated within the test series as a part because the test series are also designed as per the gate pattern. So when you're going to give an appear on any of the test, automatically the test, you know, you will be solving on the virtual calculator inbuilt within the test series. Okay, so uh, one more thing. Okay, now gate exam, uh, you can't take any rough pages also. Okay, you, you just have to carry your own pencil and pen. Okay, and they'll be providing you something known as scribble pad for your rough work. Okay, uh, now again, how to use it, we'll have a separate discussions on that. But I'm this, just in this video, I'm adding this detail so that you should know okay, what all is there in the on the gate exam pattern and gate exam day as well. Okay, so for solving all the questions, okay, because questions are on computer screen, but you need to solve somewhere, you'll get a scribble pad. Okay, now what are the dimensions of it? See, they don't specify any dimensions, but as per the previous student's knowledge, I will tell you, I can tell you what are the dimensions and, you know, uh, how to efficiently use scribble pad. Okay, because there are limited pages. Pages. okay of course you can ask for second but the problem is if you ask for second mostly they take back the first and you know if they take back the first and at the end you have to you know uh, revise any question review any question you know the calculation of any question so that will be lost so mostly students try to manage within one scribble pad so you know you can use it efficiently will I'll, I'll make a very simple small video on this separately how to use it efficiently these are some small psychological facts but yet important Okay, this is not something technical how to use scribble pad or how to be aware how do you use the virtual calculator but this is something important really important like how concepts are important but it's important how you manage your time on that day because if you really don't manage time and if you waste your time 
वॉट एवर नॉलेज यू हैव गेन्ड ओके हाउ एवर स्मार्ट यू मे बी ओके यू मे बी यू नो ऑफकोर्स नॉट एबल टू गेट द बेस्ट रैंक एंड बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस ओके सो दिस वॉज अ वीडियो आई होप यू हैव गॉट द कंप्लीट डिटेल्स अबाउट द वेटेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेक्निकल पोर्शन नॉन टेक्निकल पोर्शन एंड एक्सेट्रा ओके एंड देन यू नो इन द टेक्निकल एरिया वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट्स एंड द वेटेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज दैट बिकम्स अ ब्रांड स्पेसिफिक गेट एग्जाम पैटर्न इज कॉमन टू ऑल ओके बट लाइक इन द टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट वॉट आर द टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर ईसी एंड वॉट इज देर इंडिविजुअल वेटेज विद सब्जेक्ट मोर इंपॉर्टेंट लेस इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज द टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल और कंप्यूटर साइंस लाइक दैट ओके वी नीड टू टॉक इन सेपरेट वीडियो सो आई बी ब्रिंगिंग यू सेपरेट वीडियोज अराउंड दैट as well okay so if you enjoyed the video do not forget to like the video and also do not forget to subscribe our om institute channel so that any such videos coming up okay maybe informative videos like this or maybe guidance sessions or technical sessions also happening okay you are all aware if you are subscribed you will be notified and you know you can choose up what is important and watch those videos okay if you have any further doubts uh, please do mention in the comment box i'll help you or also you can be connected with me in social media handles like telegram or instagram wherever you are okay this is rakesh telreja signing off bye bye thank you stay safe and do take care of yourself